people. Everybody. Everyone, welcome back. Okay, so we have a few things different, a few different things happening. We have our first sponsor. Okay, that's fun. The air conditioning is on. I hope that that's not too loud for you. It's a problem for me. It's it's really annoying for me. I might I might turn it off. And then also my camera isn't working correctly. So I'm using my backup camera. And, and this camera sucks. You can see it's not even, it doesn't even take up the whole screen so we've got a lot on our hands today we're talking about math we're talking about Karl Marx we're talking about a lot of things you know and, and it's it's tough it's tough out here so with that being said we're gonna get into our first sponsor nerds gummy clusters all right do you like nerds do you like gummy candy well nerd nerds gummy clusters may be for you everybody this is I'll tell you what it's like well first of all just to be clear it's like nothing you've ever seen before, you know, or tasted before, or, um, you know, interpreted with your brain. These nerds gummy, gummy clusters. I would say maybe they're like, they're kind of a sour cotton candy situation. Does that make sense? You know, I would say, I would say the sour cotton candy kind of taste, but it's good. They're good. Every go, everybody go buy them. Use code LUSH for 100% off of your purchase at checkout on the on the Nerds Gummy Clusters website. I don't know if that's a website, but if it is, code LUSH might work for 100% off on your order. And probably going to be a scam because this is a fake ad and I, I haven't set that up. So if somebody set that up, don't buy that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I just, I just had some candy with me and I thought I would do a... A fun bit in order to put this down, but I was munching candy before you guys got here. This ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. All right, that's my ad read. Now, everybody, today, okay, today, today we read Karl Marx, you guys, but it's not. Don't worry, it's not the normal Karl Marx that everybody sees and reads. Okay, it's different today. Because I, I did some math videos. I don't know if anybody saw them, but they people liked the me doing math videos. I talked about the Unabomber, that went well. You know, different things of that variety. And this and that, folks. So with that, today we're back and a, a commenter, I'll have to get your name, I'll have to get you a shout out, but a commenter pointed out that Karl Marx had mathematical manuscripts. And so today we're going to look at the mathematical, math, math, at the mathematical manuscripts. All right, we said that, we said it correctly that time. Today we're going to look at the mathematical manuscripts of Karl Marx. All right, folks? Does that sound like fun? Okay, because so, because we covered a terrorist last time. And now let's cover Mar ma the, the, the Mother Teresa. No, I'm just kidding. But I am a Marx. I'm a Marxist at, at heart. You know, not. I'm not a. I'm not a. Jeez, you guys put me on the spot. I'm not like a Marx. Uh, I. You know, I. I would have been in the 50s. I would have been in trouble for being like a Marxist sympathizer, probably, with my opinions. Okay, but I just think that people should not be homeless and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Like I don't think. I don't think I'm asking a terrible amount of stuff. I just want people to be, I just want as many people to be as happy as possible, you know. That's my belief. So, if that makes me a Marxist, then bring me to, you know, bring me to China and hang me by my thumbs, okay? That's, that's what I say. But today we're going to look at the math, mathematics, of the mathematical manuscripts of Karl Marx, alright? So we're doing, folks. Don't worry about it. Let's get, let's get right into the news. So I did look at this already, but we're going to talk about this. This is kind of what's going on. I think that I, we're going to read through it a little bit better, but I think that basically what happened was Marx had a very good understanding of what calculus was. Okay. Like what the problem in question was that founded calculus that made calculus required as math. Okay. Cause like you can do math without calculus, but then for some, for some math, you got to use calculus for it, you know what I mean? And so I think Karl Marx just really understood the fact that calculus would have to be used in problem solving, okay? But but I think I think because he was Karl Marx and also the OG Marxist, his ideas were being listened to in a way where he could kind of meander about this for a very long time. 
Okay. Without many people telling him, like, shut the hell up because we understand what you're saying. And and so that's kind of what we're, where we're going to get to. Okay. Let's just read through this for now. I'm sorry, guys, because because there, there are watching videos and then there are reading videos. And this is one of the reading videos. And I feel like I'm just bad at reading. So... The reading videos are, I, they're more difficult for me to, you know, I don't know. Forgive me for, for my poor reading skills. I know, I well, I don't know how to read, but I was going to say, I'm worse at reading out loud than I am at reading in my head. Okay, if that makes anybody forgive me at all. But, all right, here we go. The mathematical manuscripts of Karl Marx are manuscripts of... of our manuscript collection... See what I mean? Our manuscript collection... collection <sighs> All right, we gotta lock in. We gotta drink some water. Karl Marx, mathematical notes, just say math notes, where he attempted to f derive the foundations of calculus from first principles. Okay, easy enough. Limits. Notice that Marx took has been collected in four independent treatises. Tree, treatises. Okay, I'm I'm not dumb, right? That's a hard word to read. Treatises. Derived functions, differentials, differential calculus, Taylor's theorem, McLaurin's theorem, Lagrange's theory of derived functions. Okay, all right. We get it. You get what a derivative is. Cool. Along with several notes, additional drafts, supplements. Okay. For treaties, it sounds like pasties for some reason. Anyway, these treaties attempt to construct rigorous foundation of the calculus for calculus and use historical materialism to analyze the history of mathematics. Fuck. What am I gonna do this tomorrow? What's happening? That's my question. The mathematical manuscript. Talking about Karl Marx. So right, he's a nerd. The the historical materialism. K. Okay. okay. That's kind of what I'm interested in now, now that I'm reading this, is how is historical materialism used to analyze math? So, but really, a thousand pages of mathematical manuscripts. I don't know if I've written that much. That's, pr well, I mean, okay, I'm a math guy, but that's probably how much math I've written. It's like a thousand pages-ish. No, I've written, I've written more than that. I've written more than that. But good for him. Yet, yeah, no impact on the historical developments. Could have guessed that. Was unaware of more developments. Okay, is such as Kachi. Kachi is important. So, to be unaware of Kachi is, okay. Anticipated but didn't influence some later works. That's about right. Because why would you listen to him, but also, I'm sure he's a bright guy. He felt, he, he developed a, you know, a, a stance of life that, that millions have adopted or whatever you know what i mean so like like he's he's a relatively intelligent person since publication marks independent contributions to mathematics have been analyzed historical and economic theories well i'm an economics guy Marx. are you an economics guy you are an economics guy in terms of both historical and economic theory oh i, I wonder if he had an economical approach to why calculus should exist because that would be interesting because i could see like i know why calculus would be needed in economics but i don't i i, I knew calculus better like i didn't know economics that well until i already knew calculus so ah oh, geez guys there's a bug on my oh no well, well this has got a it's a fucking centipede. That that guy was probably a billion years old himself. You gotta get after him. It's no good. Centipedes, millipedes. We gotta stop those peds. Been analyzed in terms of economic theories and in light of their potential applications of non-standard analysis. All right. Well, you didn't have anything for non-standard analysis. Like I looked through this and I can know enough to know that non-standard analysis was not his forte. Oh, that's a fun field. Oh, that's a fun field. 1 over n as a field. That's a very fun field. It, you know, I, I'm not going to describe exactly what that means right now, but, uh, you know, that's actually, that's really fun. What a good, that's, a, that's a great idea for a space. Anyway, contents. Thousand pages. Uh, foundations of calculus. Sure, sure, sure. Majority, four papers, line of drafts. Okay, I feel like we read this. In these works, draw analogies between theories of history of economics and the development of calculus by constructing by constructing differential calculus in terms of mathematical symbols altered by an upheaval that would rival reveal their meaning. That's just kind of how math. It's this is really who who the fuck wrote that? It's really like bleh, 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 the way that that's written. You know what I mean? 
So, a thousand pages. Four papers. Okay. Reveal their. Oh yeah, that's for reveal their meaning. That's what math does. It's you. You put together some characters. You construct some things, and it reveals their true meaning. In 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 that process, you find your true meaning. And that's the beauty of math. You know. That, that's my belief. Continuing, Mark wrote on the concept of a derived function. Okay, a derived function. That's very okay. That's that doesn't even take calculus. That's just an answer that is a function. If you find like a slope of something, you have derived a function technically. You know what I mean? Deriving a function is just having something and making it mathematical. Giving something a mathematical model is deriving a function. Does this look, do I look sweaty? Cause I'm literally not sweaty. It's just the, it's just the, it's the, all right. Anyway, just two years before his death in this work, he demonstrates some mechanical how to calculate a derivative for several bank, basic functions from first principles. Okay. I would like to believe that if I had done math for long enough without direction, this is something that I would have done. But like, let's keep going. Okay, it's interesting that they, they say despite him using geometric ar arguments, because I would say that geometric arguments are very valid. Merck's explanations re rely on algebraic. M okay, this isn't me, this is this. Marx's explanations rely much more strongly on the on algebraic explanations than geometric ones. You, you replace something with intuition because this is a run, like you, you can't say explanations this much. He had algebraic explanations for geometric arguments. That's good, right? Yeah. Preferred to think algebraically, whatever. Zero over zero may be alarming, but Marx was well aware what he was doing when he wrote zero over zero. However, Marx was evidently disturbed on the impact implications of this stating the closely held belief of some rationalizing mathematicians that dy and dx are quantitatively, quantitatively only infinitely small, only approaching zero over zero is chimera. I don't know what chimera means, but listen, zero over zero, that's like kind of what calculus is, is the study of what would happen when, what would be true when zero over zero is. I don't know if this is my video on calculus. I might do part of this video tomorrow. And this might be the calculus video that might be based but so zero over zero is the foundations of calculus so it's not that like i don't know what chimera is but it's not that fancy what's a chimera a fire breathing monster with a lion's head no it's not that crazy i mean i guess it is for the fun of it, it it's it's it, it's as it's as fun as a fire breathing lion but it's not as difficult as a fire breathing lion. All right. It's, it's much simpler. Don't worry about it. Everybody, we're going to get through it together. Don't worry. Okay. So on the differential, Merck tries to construct the definition of a derivative dy dx from first principles without using the definition of a limit. Now, the definition of a derivative is typically taught as a limit-based definition. So him to do it without limits, it's good for him. Let's see what it says. Pierce here primarily used the elementary textbook written by French mathematician Baskerat, Bos, Bos Charlot. Are those two different people? I don't even know. He primarily used the traditional limit definition, but Marx intentionally avoided it. I've done math like that too before, where you intentionally avoid like the way that they're stating. That, yeah. Okay. Marx seems to be a very amateur mathematician so far. Like not not a bad mathematician, but just not like like you know. He needs training to be a helpful mathematician. You know what I mean? It seems like he likes calc. Maybe he should do like complex analysis stuff or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sure the part where he defined a derivative, which is for the non uh, calculus people, the derivative is the, the slope of the function. Like it with y equals mx plus b, it, the derivative is m. Okay. y equals mx plus b. It goes to m, but with other comp with other functions, it's more complicated than just being an m. You know what I mean? So that's where derivatives come into play, and they're real fun, they're real fun, fun, fun ideas. But they're they're like a, you know, if you want to do calculus, that's a fun fundamental feature. So I understand why he would have spent considerable care writing about 
the derivative, especially if he's doing an approach without the limit definition. That's an important thing that like have, cause we're gonna go through his mathematical manuscripts here, don't worry. But that's an important thing to approach it with, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I thought it said four segments and, and right here is three segments. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what the, if there's a, if there's an issue with counting, 